Here's the Keytron C2. This is the retro uh, without the backlight. There's no backlight on this one. I think the Pro model has backlight. And I got the brown switches. They have one USB. It's wired only, not battery powered. And you can switch between Mac and PC. There are also extra uh, PC buttons if you want to swap them out. And then it also comes with a USB-C cable to USB-A and uh, the uh, tools you need to swap out the, the keys if you want to do that. Before the C2, I owned another Keytron. That's the Keytron K2. This one was without the numerical pad. And I use this when I'm traveling and I want to do writing. This is a uh, Bluetooth. There's, I think there's a battery in here as well. And then there's one USB-C cable and you can swap between Mac PC or Android. And the K, uh, these are the, also the brown switches, but the, the key travel and, and then the key design, the key shape is a little different than the C2. The C2 seems to feel like a more modern type of retro keyboard where they, where they uh, maybe combined the, the old school retro keys with those chiclet like Mac keys. So it, 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 I mean, it's not, that doesn't seem like that way at all, but it seems more than the K2. The K2s feel more retro. It, they also feel tighter together, the, the, the spacing of the keys. But if you have the K2 and you love the K2, I don't think it's that far of a difference. Before the C2, this is for a, a desktop. I, I'm a Mac user and I wanted to compare the C2 to the keyboard that I'm replacing, which is the uh, Ajaz AK510. I did a previous review on, on the this Ajaz keyboard and I really, really love it. It's been amazing to use on my desktop for Mac. Um, I, I write, but I'm also a video editor and using keyboard shortcuts on a keyboard that's pretty much PC only has been a problem. So here I'll, I'll list some of the reasons why I wanted to upgrade or switch to a different keyboard. First, I, I just like the retro look um, aesthetically. That's, that just fits my, my personal preference. And then I also like the mechanical keyboard sound. If you're working in an office with other people, <laughs> or a home office or uh, anywhere where there's other people around having mechanical keys it, it can be very annoying to other people around and even myself if, if I'm working next to somebody with a mechanical keyboard I would it would drive me insane so since I work at my own uh, like a little home studio office I don't have to worry about that so I it just really feels good feels nice uh, some of the drawbacks with the 510 is that the cable is permanently in attached to the keyboard. Can't unplug it. Uh, if this breaks, you got to get a whole new, well, you got to send this in for repair. The other parts of this that I, well, this is more of a pro and con, is that this is a very, very heavy. Extremely, one of the heaviest keyboards, uh, not one of, this, this is the heaviest keyboard I've ever held. Very heavy. But if you want something weighed down and to not move and you and you like that heaviness, that's a good thing. It's a plus. It's also fairly thick. Whereas uh, I've noticed already with the C2, it's quite thin. The key travel on the 510 here is, is deep. It's a very deep travel. And it's also since I have blue keys, you have that sound. And I'll do a sound comparison between these blue keys on the 510 and the brown C C2's keys in a minute. But uh, the, oh, the other reasons are that uh, this is a backlit keyboard that you can't really control. You can control the RGB backlit as far as the kind of patterns, but you can't turn them completely off. Or at least I, I didn't know how to do that. And then the, the biggest reason why uh, I wanted to upgrade is that since this is a PC keyboard, I had to use another third-party app in order to get all my keyboard shortcuts and, and the Mac keys working on my Mac. I used a third-party app called Carabiner Elements. It's I believe it's free. I'll leave a link to where if you're curious about it. I'm not sponsored at all by that. I get nothing if you click on that link. 
But if you have a PC keyboard and you want to adapt it to, to use on, on a Mac, Apple, that's that's been really good. I've been using that since I had this keyboard. So for, for several years now, I have to uh, program on that app the the keys, what, what I want the keys to do. That, that took a little time, but once I did it, it it's been fairly consistent. There might be uh, two times every month where I'll get a dropped connection and I got to unplug the USB and plug it back in for it to connect. That might be another issue of, of the Mac Studio that I have, but I've noticed that has been a problem. If you upgrade your Mac OS and that Carabiner Elements app it, it isn't upgraded, updated with that app, uh, with your uh, the updated OS, you're going to have some compatibility issues, which I did have. Uh, so I had to worry about updating the Mac OS. There, there's a lot of things because it's not a it's not an official app for that Apple uh, makes. So so that has been a problem. It's been a little bit annoying. So I wanted something that would work directly with my Mac, and I didn't have to have a third party app. And if I wanted to do Windows, I can always you know switch sw switch the button. But I also didn't. Since this is not backlit, I don't have to worry about backlighting at all because this doesn't even have it. So that's the reason why I got the C2. It's also uh, fairly affordable. I've seen sales. I got it on a Black Friday sale for under 50 bucks. This one is a little under $100. So I'm going to flip my microphone around so you can hear the difference between the these two keyboards. I think if you want the authentic feel of a retro keyboard, I still like the AK510 with the blue switches. And if you if you work alone, I think you'll like that too. If you like that retro feel, the AK510 is, is great. It feels so good. Um, with, with, even with all of the workarounds I had to do to make this work s seamlessly with my uh, Mac, I still like, I still prefer this. But this now, the C2, will get rid of all those headaches. Uh, all of the keyboard shortcuts will work just like on my Mac. The, I don't have to reassign the, the volume buttons, all that stuff. And I could plug this in. It's lighter. I could even travel with this if I wanted to. There's just way more advantages with the, the, the C2. But otherwise, I, I still, I mean, I'm going to miss this keyboard. It's just that I had to do that trade-off.